Hello and welcome to me, God King Pepe. You may call me Pepe. Uh, this is an interesting game. We're going to be playing Football Manager 2019 and we're going to be seeing if we can do a better job than Unai Emery. Huh. Arsenal fans, I really, really don't know how this is going to work for you. But. I'm gonna do my best. Anyhow, here we are. This is me, God King Pepe, the handsome devil that I am. Uh, naturally, we're going to be taking charge of Arsenal because first job, why not start at the top? And this video is going to be about the setup, and then we're gonna to get to the gameplay in the next video. So if you don't like setting up, then you're just gonna to have to move to the next video. These training inductions, they're an absolute ache. But, you have to attend these meetings. And, hi God King, welcome to the Gunners. I'd like to take a few moments of your time uh, to welcome you to the club. A few minutes. Stan Kroenke, no one knows what he's like. He's never at Arsenal. Here we are. Arsenal, obviously a couple of club with a lot of history. How would you know? You're never there. And fans really appreciate it when a newly appointed manager has taken the time to increase their knowledge of the club. We already know everything. But we're going to just click the top one and just keep skipping this. Because uh, this is the thing with uh, Football Manager. If you just keep clicking the top one here, it goes, yes, please. It would be great to get a summary of the second opinions regarding the current squad. Like we don't already know some of them are rubbish. Uh, yes, I think it would be of great benefit to me and my meet my backroom staff and Can you tell me how I can control training? Responsibilities uh, No, Steve bold now uh, What training areas would you like to adjust the responsibilities for well because We're not going to be doing that much um, Training because it's just a one season wonder we're going to see if we can do better at Arsenal this year than you and I Emery did with them. Um, I genuinely think we're just going to leave the training to Steve Bold and see whether he's part of the Wenger problem or, you know, whether he's actually a decent coach or not. Because I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think he's all that good, to be honest. I don't really see him doing anything, but ah, it could just be me. Uh, would you like me to help you with any tasks at the club? Can you tell me how you can assist with the team talks, please? Uh, da -da -da. Can you... Thanks for your help. I don't want to find you if I need anything else. Yeah, just go away now. There we go. Right. <laughs> Had enough. Uh, that concludes the meeting. So, Stan Kroenke is a tight so-and-so. Um, so, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and increase the wage budget to attract higher players reputation we're not sure the squad actually needs any additions of course you're not um, there we go after a few marquee signings we might have considered this if the club's reputation weren't already good enough for our liking however oh hello, we believe the club is doing just fine Marquee signings certainly aren't necessary for the time being. Oh look, it's just like real life. <laughs> so, okay, we'll just leave that. Um, so we'll go to next on red. Arsenal new signings and transfer obligations. Oh boy. So, it looks as though Aaron Ramsey is going to be going to Juventus. And he is quite some player um, and yep transfer ranged Ugh, that's ugly to lose a player like Aaron Ramsey is 27 28 now yeah look at that damn why would you let his contract run out that's that's a nonsense so there are players coming to the end date, so Callum Chambers, uh, there's a few
few Arsenal fans that might want to see him go. Christian Bielik. Alright. How old is he again? 20 years old. Matt Mason, the goalkeeper. Aerial reach, 19. Jumping reach, 19. Oh, he is 2 metres and 1 centimetre tall. <laughs> that would be brought. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so he's, he's a bit of a big lad. Um, Emiliano Martinez, 25 year old keeper. Denis Suarez. Ah, here we go. On loan from Barcelona. I thought they'd signed him permanently. Uh uh. That could be a problem. Emil Smith Rowe, the great white hope of Arsenal. Um. Why is it? Oh, he's loan ends. Okay. So these players. Alright, alright. So they're coming back. Except for Suarez, who we possibly could do with signing. And. Um, Ramsey, who's leaving for Juventus. We'll have Licksteiner, who's out of contract. Um, he's 34. He'll be 35. You'll probably let him go. Gwenduzi. Decent player. You know? He's contracted till 2022. Um, this squad isn't too bad, actually. Lucas Torreira. Alright, tackling 16, passing 16. First touch 16. A lot of 16s and 15s there. Determination 17. Same with positioning, teamwork, work rate. Work rate. So he's going to be our midfielder. Our deep line playmaker. Um, Burnt Leno. Not Jay Leno. Burned Leno. Yeah. Bad joke. And you'll get more of those dad jokes on here. Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, I think, you know, we're going to be moving forward. And here we have the scouting induction. Um, go on, we'll send all these things. Uh, prior to your appointment as manager, blah blah blah. His emails will be highlighted. Okay, great. So, this is the boring bit that I don't like. This is the bit where you have to set everything up um, and you just have to grind this bit. So, you take the tactic induction. So, basically, we now have to decide what kind of tactics we want to take and we will just go for the Gagan press because I think Arsenal actually need to do that they need to be quite high um, have a real high line I like the 4-2-3-1 me um, you know I think having someone like Torreira there and Ramsey here and a few attacking players and a main forward um, these two provide the defence protection and Arsenal's defence never really been great has it so um, not since uh, Lee Dixon, Steve Ball, Tony Adams and Nigel Winterburn and David Seaman um, left Arsenal they've been in a bit of trouble um, yeah, one time they had Sol Campbell, Ashley Cole um, and a couple other players but generally um, I'm, I'm not sure they've ever really replaced those players so okay we've done um, the tactics we took the induction let's just skip through all that um, Oh my god. Roles and duties. Ugh. I'll tell you what, let's just. He's picking a team for us here. Um, 
35% the condition is 95 90% on some of them but the match sharpness is 35% what the hell oh that's ugly so tactics induction again we're just gonna basically do this because I cannot be bothered with it um, yeah here's the thing I come on here just to play games and I'm pretty sure you know you can skip them like this um, you know and you can leave the training for the youth team squads with the backroom staff and uh, plan general first team training I'll leave that to the backroom staff set up individual training leave that to the backroom staff um, and just move forward because well I don't really want to um, get involved too much in all that I just want to play the games um, and already god this video is around 10 minutes and we've barely done anything this is why football manager could be improved by simplifying some of this stuff it's great if you're you know I mean I'm a big fan but I, I just don't want to you know spend so much time that what you find is they take so much time to do this stuff that they sometimes don't um, don't do really well at some of the other stuff like the graphics you know you look at Pro Evolution Soccer and you look at some other games and the graphics on them is brilliant um, and then you look at um, you know the, the the flip side of it which is all of this what is going on here scouts have identified 10 players <sighs> recommendations they don't want to sell he's going to be a fortune there's no way Chelsea let him go. Sanderberg contracted to Genk. Um, well, let's have a look at him because they're saying he's a decent player, and they're lying to us. He's all right. He's just young and not what we need, um, and will probably cost a damn fortune. Valued at 25 million. See you later, son. Um, Andre Onana, that's the keeper from Ajax. Um, again, valued at six and a half million. You're gonna have to pay sixteen and a half to get him out. And Carlos Soler from Valencia, valued at nine point seven five million. They don't want to sell him. Let's have a look anyway. He's a decent player. Um, right winger, twenty one. Um, would be a quality signing he actually looks interesting but his physicals here could be better you want them above 15 um, in most places particularly with the pace and acceleration um, dribbling and crossing you want around 15 he's got his first touch and passing and technique at 15 he's, he's close but you know He's not what we need. Um, uh, Senges under now he is a good player. Yeah, long shot seventeen. Technique here you go. Acceleration seventeen. Pace fifteen. He's a very very good player. Um, and they don't want us. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Estimated cost. All right. I mean, let's let's uh, let's make a cheeky little offer, you know. Before you start with your bid, uh, let's take a moment to oh, look. Let's 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 not take a moment. Let's just let me get on with the game. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. 
I, I will deal with the transfers just shush go away <laughs> oh my god um right I'm thinking we just um we just start the conversation by suggesting terms now I'm not happy with 30% but we can probably do 20 go from 26 to 25 suggest that Roma feel the offer is acceptable and do you want to finalise the offer ok alright yes submit that offer alright so we're after the wonder kid that is Senga's under and um, you know if we get him for less than that 31 million if we get him for 25 it's actually a good deal now Callum Hudson Odoi is gonna be a wonder kid uh, in real life as well 16 15 15 15 14 14 14 15 he's only 17 years old and I don't think we'd be able to get him out of there I really don't um, at the moment he's a natural left winger on that side but I see him more as a right winger um, and I think he'll, that's where he'll develop um, let's let's just check how much money we've got to spend on transfers um, so transfer budget 30 million that's not good <laughs> um, the club is currently spending 2.9 million a week on wages you're having a giggle and the wage budget is 3.1 million roughly alright um, let's just try and increase the percentage um, if stability comes at the cost of a position or two in the league that's a risk we're willing to take we would much rather play it safe than end up retaining too little transfer revenue you proper tight so and so you Stan Kroenke proper tight um, yeah stingy or what we may only be able to get under that's that might be the only signing we're able to make folks um, <laughs> for like 25 million we may have just blown our nuts on uh, on the wonder kid but what a wonder kid you know if you're gonna do it then do it on him right Surgeon Abri um, I think Arsenal have been there done that um, <laughs> Aaron Wan Basaka now another very good player who I think would do well at Arsenal in real, real life and would genuinely do well like Nathan Ake I think would also do well um, you know it's it's really if we look at Nathan Ake here and we just um, get a scout report on him for now it would be a quality signing you see I mean let's face it um, I, I, I think we're gonna have to sell some players here to raise some money um, um, 44 million to 90 million for Callum Hudson a doy that's just not gonna happen um, Sergeant Nabry is never gonna happen 
Wan Basaka, Palace ain't gonna wanna sell him. Um and if they do they're gonna want forty, fifty million, we can't afford that. Nathan Ake, um now for a centre half if we could get him around 22, 23 million, that could be doable if we raise the funds. So we might want to just add him to the shortlist. And, you know, don't forget these are players that the club's already looked at and assessed the potential and made their recommendations. Um, but we are going to look. Um, to see if uh, you know we can oh god try to skip inductions it doesn't allow you we are gonna <laughs> such a hater on this stuff uh, see if we can get um, uh, hello, hello players um, right yeah we can qualify for the champions Right, that's exactly the kind of reaction. Thank you. All right, see you later. Um, these players do not currently fit into any particular group. Socrates, Abamyang, Mkhitaryan, Lich, Lichstein. Well, you know, just four main players that are starting. Yeah, that's that's good. Suarez, Torreira, Bellerin, Monreal, who belong in a secondary group, which don't really get on with the rest. But, you know, another eight players that are going to be starting. That's that's it. Just, just lovely, you know. <laughs> Excellent lads. Cheers. Great team cohesion. You, so and so's. Um, no, I don't want to take that. No, 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 no. You just go away with that. I don't want to skip, as well. Right. Um. I think we're gonna have to go into the transfer market and we're going to have to start looking at players who are free um, for a simple reason um, we're going to acknowledge these just so they can go scout elsewhere um, right no more recommendations good um, yeah transfers I mean if we can get this lad from Roma he is a genuine superstar you know absolute wonder kid um, you can see here he shoots from distance likes to try and beat the offside trap tries first time shots cuts inside from far right wing um, I think, think he's left footed is he pretty sure he is um, in, in real life, I think he is left footed. Um, plays right or left. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think he's hundred percent scouted. Would be a quality signing. Um, two big positives there. So yeah, you know, uh, 